Welcome students. This is a short demo on behalf of Somlalit School, how to use Google Classroom for parents and students. So if you're new to Google Classroom, you simply have to type the URL that is classroom.google.com. Once you do so, you will be directed to an app which looks similarly like this. After doing so, you simply have to log in with your further details. As you can see in the picture mentioned, you simply, after logging in, have to add your Google email ID. Once you do so, it will be asking you for the next process. As we just noticed, after entering the email ID, you will be asked to enter your password for the account. As you can see, this is how the screen will look. You simply have to add your password and press next. As soon as you log in your email ID and your password, you will be entering the Google Classroom. This is how the Google Classroom will look on your screen. Hence, after doing so, you will be able to see all the classes that you have been invited to attend as a student. I hope this is clear. As you can see on the screen, after you select the class you are invited to, you simply have to click on Join. Once you do so, you will be able to see everything that the teacher has shared with the student. You will be able to enroll yourself and attend the class of that particular teacher. Once you accept and join the class, you will be able to see three sections. One is the stream, other is the classroom on the top as you can see, and the third one is the people. Stream is the place where you will find all the materials submitted by the teachers. Classwork is the work that every subject teacher will be shown up. And people will show you all the teachers who will be teaching you. Also, on the left, as you can see, there is upcoming. It means there are, if there are any upcoming assignments, you will be able to see them here. As you can see on this screen, you are able to see the work and the material submitted by the teacher in the section of stream. Once you click on the stream, you will be able to see all the material uploaded by your subject teachers. The material uploaded by the teachers can include anything that they would like to share with you. It can be a PDF file, it can be an image, it can be a link to a video, it can be a live learning session. If you were invited to a live learning session through Google Meet, you will receive a class code and a link, which you simply have to add and log in to direct yourself to the live session. Now, as you can see on the screen, we are talking about the classwork. Here, you're able to see the work that is submitted by the teachers for you to complete according to each subject. Hence, I'm able to see the material posted separately under Sanskrit and separately under English. You simply have to click the material to view it and submit it if it asks you to do so. As you can see under Sanskrit, there is a video that has been shared by the subject teacher. For doing so, you simply have to click the video link and it will direct you to the video learning presented by your subject teacher. If there is any other format of the material provided, you will have to simply click it 
and let it load on your screen to attempt it or view it. Let us say after viewing the video or any other form of material, you have a question to ask to your teacher. There is a column that will be provided to you as you can see with say class comments. You are free to put up your comments over there and the teacher can view it. Here we're going to explain about an exercise that has been assigned to you to submit before a certain date and time. Well, when it's an exercise, it is an assignment that you have to complete. And you simply have to click on the exercise and complete it and submit it to your teachers before the time collapses. After viewing the exercise, I will be able to see the math assignment as you can see. And it shows that you simply have to click on view assignment to view the further work that you are supposed to submit. As you can see here, I am able to see the math assignment and once you are completed with the math assignment, you simply have to submit your work and just add up mark as done. Once you do so, you can also pass a comment to your teacher saying that you have submitted your work, which will simply go to your subject teacher. Do not forget to submit your work before the time frame because if you are not able to do so, the app may not accept your assignment and you will be appeared for not submitting your work. So it is very important that you submit your work in the given time frame. Now let us say that your teacher wants to have a Google Meet session that is the live learning session with you. For the same, the teacher will give you a notification in which they will be providing you with a class code and a meet link as you can see over here. A meet link is a link that you will have to add when you want to join the Google Live session. So remember, if it's a live session on Google Meet, you will be receiving a class code and a meet link which will simply directly take you to the live session with your teacher. A live session is, can be a learning session, it can be a doubt clearing session, and it can be learning of any other new topic. Well, as you can see the circled, we have mentioned that tomorrow the math lecture will be live at 9 a.m. So, the time has already been mentioned with you. You simply have to note down the class code and the meet link. You will simply have to log in the live session before a few minutes or during that time and attend the live session presented by your teacher. As you can see, after entering the class code and the meet link, you will be able to see yourself on the screen as a student. You simply have to click on join now to view your teacher and be a part of the live session. Now you can see that the teacher and the student can be appeared on different screens. There is a small window that will be appeared as a student while the live session is going on. And there is a one-to-one -one conversation between the student and the teacher. As I mentioned earlier, it can be a doubt clearing session. It can be learning a new topic or just an interaction between the both. I hope this much is clear by now. Now, let us say during the live Google session, you have a certain question to ask to your teacher. In that case, you simply have to click on the message icon and it will direct you to a message, message option that you can send to your teacher. You can see on the right side that there are two options, the people and the chat option. 
people will show the number of participants or students who will be attending the session along with the teacher. And in the chat option, you can ask a question, just as this one says, Sir, I have a question. Immediately, your message shall pop up on the teacher's screen and they will be able to address your query. Once the query appears to your teacher's screen, they will be able to personally talk to you and allow you to ask your doubts and hence clear it there and then. So this is Google Live session details. This is an important section to understand. As you can see, at the end of the page, you're able to see the audio button that is muted. Remember to mute your audio at all times until the subject teacher wants you to unmute it or answer any questions personally asked to you. You will be able to keep your video on because the teacher may want to see that you are listening and you are present during the live sessions. That is the end of a short demo on how to use Google Classrooms on behalf of Somlalit School. We are glad to serve you and we are really happy to give you this new way of learning experience. Hope you will enjoy your live sessions. And in case of any queries, we're always there to help you. Happy learning and take care of yourselves. Thank you.